Whoa. This voodoo throne is plush, comfortable, ergonomic. No wonder she never stands up when I arrive. Now, ah, upsie daisy. She can't get up, but I need to talk to the Marquis de Singe. A variety of voodoo volumes. Nothing about the language of manatees, though. When you handle tarot cards all day, it's important to moisturize. That's where I first met my old pyrite pal. It's like sitting under the mistletoe, except for the occasional drips of shrunken head juice. All the ingredients needed for a big unhealthy voodoo salad. It's cool sitting behind the giant skull, like I'm the man, I mean, the woman. I mean, the man trapped in a woman's body. You know what I mean. The legendary paperweight of Yamala. It can hold down paper like nobody's business. Hex me now. I wonder what this does. Huh. Something's missing. Instructions. Hmm. Didn't take the voodoo lady for the forgetful sort. Uh, let's see. For sizzling voodoo action, fill slots with tarot cards. Slot one, the one who acts. Slot two, the action taken. Slot three, the one who receives the action. It shows a woman conjuring a curse. It's a picture of an incredibly handsome adventurer on his way somewhere. It has the picture of a fractured scientist on it. I like otters. They are so cute, but potentially ferocious. They are the wolves in ships closing of the sea. Hmm. Perhaps I could develop genetically flambéed attack otters. I wonder what could have caused this. Curse you, Guybrush Threepwood! That wasn't so bad. Um, enter my mystical lair of voodoo. Bonjour, mademoiselle. I have traveled here to... Uh, uh, Pardonnez-moi, I can't quite remember. You've missed my musk? Quoi? No. Are you feeling all right? You seem, how you say, bizarre. Actually, I may have really swallowed some bile earlier. Eh, uh, that is nice. I would be going now. Wait, while you're here, I want to ask you something. What are the odds of a guy like you and a girl like me? Zero! I will never compromise my science for a bunch of phooey and a pile of chicken bones. Will that be all? Do you have any secrets you'd like to share? Perhaps concerning Monkey Island? You mean that worthless rock on top of all that lava? <laughs> Nothing. But I hear the wildlife is quite cheeky. Will that be all? I understand that you speak the language of giant manatees. 
and I'm not referring to your silly accent. How do you know this? Yes, I have a book that can teach one the language of these majestic creatures. You don't have anything on tape? I need to learn manatee, pronto. I feel no need to give it to you. You will just tarnish it with your mumbo-jumbo voodoo nonsense. You have no respect for the sciences. Is everyone from your country so unhelpful? The children of my homeland are indeed the finest the world has to offer. There is a reason we call our country the maternal warriors of the West. Keep your book. I didn't want it anyway. I will. Returned, but I do not know why. You've returned because you know you have something I require. Hmm, my manatee language book? <laughs> why would I loan such a valuable tome to you? Listen, Baggett for brains, I'm warning you. Or what? You always have no power over me. Marquis, bring me the book of the manatee language or I'll give you an education on voodoo from the business end of a curse. <laughs> you make me laugh. <laughs> this, this is the sound of my laughter. <laughs> there will be no curse, because I am not believing in it. <laughs> With that, I must go. Wedgie I have ever known! Heavens to hippos, I can practically taste my underpants! <laughs> no, it is impossible. She could not have done this to me. Hmm, perhaps I will bring her this silly textbook, just in case. Whoever could it be? It's open! I have brought you the language textbook you have requested. <laughs> my motivations for this act are meaningless. Take it. Oh, for me? Thanks, Mark. Put it there on the table. Now scram. <laughs> Learn the enchanting language of the giant sea cow in 12 easy steps. Who knew manatees had such an impressive vocabulary? Whoa, that was like massive instantaneous liposuction. Not that I've ever done that sort of thing. May I have a look at your files? As a trusted member of my crew, there's nothing I wouldn't share with you. Really? Go right ahead. Mug on that nun.
My mother always told me to use my words. Or at least not to resort to out-and-out -out murder. I'm sorry it had to come to this. The tongue of the manatee location or someone here will never need a milliner again. Uh, a milliner? Hat maker. A hatter. I'm cutting off somebody's head. You don't have the stones. Don't I? You don't scare me with your sharp, shiny stick, puny mortal. I am Santino, the incontrovertible demonic skull. And I shall... Three words! Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god, man! What? What happened? We can't see! He did it! He's crazier than a sack of eels, man! What did he do? Santino's dead! Ah! Don't hurt anyone else. I'll talk. Go. I didn't have it. That's all I can remember. Forgive me for not trusting your bile-encrusted memory. I didn't have it, bro. He's telling the truth. Or at least he thinks he is. All right. Who's next? Eh, sorry about your friend. Uncool, bro. Uncool. Tell me more. I told you all I know, brah. I can't believe you killed him. Anyway, talk to you later. I need information. I'll never break you. Arr! Please, no, Sister Agnes, Noogie, sorry. Who had the tongue of the manatee or you get the face again? It was Moose. Moose had it. Oh, please, no more. Is this true? Sad, I can't remember, brah. It's Jimbo, his icor funnel. That's the tongue of the manatee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I left it back in the big guy's stomach. How could I forget? No wonder. What else do you know? Nothing. Just don't do that face again. Talk to you later. If there's one thing democracy has taught me, sometimes you just need to make an example out of someone to get results. Frigid, brah. Frigid. The tongue of the manatee is your i funnel? Yeah. I can't believe I left Jimbo behind. Anyway, talk to you later. getting to the sponge is to get our manatee to woo the leviathan. Hi, Mr. Manatee. This probably sounds like nonsense to your unevolved ear, but I think I can understand you now. going through. I better figure out how to speak like a manatee so I can help this guy out and get to the sponge. Hungry fella? Oh, that ingestion and digestion has tossed the tongue of the manatee into the bile pool. That's a long way down. There's nothing interesting up there now. Just a whole lot of tongue. 
I've got Takava's exit concoction, which can be administered to the main bile pool whenever I need to get out of here. This is going to be one regular giant manatee. Rotting remains of one of those seahorse thingies. Seahorse eats plankton, manatee eats the seahorse, mutineers hijack the manatee. Ah, the circle of life. I'd never punch a manatee. Well, maybe in self-defense. All this treasure can't be good for the manatee's digestion. I can't reach it. Nope, I can't reach it that way. It's just too far down. If I put him in there, he'll be dead in three seconds, which would stop his incessant flopping about. I haven't played bongo since my stint as a beat poet. Hmm. Salmon playing the bongos. And I've seen Stranger Things. Ew, a slimy grub. Tongue of the Manatee, Travel Edition. Tongue of the Manatee, Travel Edition. All the manatee phrases you need to know while visiting the Abyss. Just a dabble, do ya? Whoops. Um, actually, I don't want to talk about it. It's the travel edition. I'm gonna have to make do with the phrases that come preloaded. Here goes nothing. Best start with courtesy.
could have gone better? Women. Uh-oh. I know I can hold my breath underwater for 10 minutes. I gotta run. Legendary Esponja Grande. I've crossed seas, survived an island siege, forded countless enemies, seven give or take, traveled the entrails of a manatee, and courted marine life all for this one moment. Huh. I thought it would be bigger. Take my Esponja Pequeño to Elaine. Oh, I got it! We finally got it! We really hoodwinked old Coronado, eh? Now, I just gotta get back to her and... I knew it! Huh? No, Dacaba, it's not like that. You are a backstabbing sponge and woman stealer! This is the end of the line! Really? Hear me out! Look, guy, I thought you swore you'd never serve another tyrant. In light of recent events, I've had a philosophical breakthrough. But what about Moose and Noogie? Where's... Gentlemen, this is why you always have a plan B. What's plan B? 
Very funny. Ow! Ooh, this must be petrified wood. For being homemade by a lunatic, these cages are surprisingly sturdy. It reads, Visit the sacred giant manatee mating grounds. Home to La Esponja Grande, 200 fathoms. No littering. Morgan! How do we get out of here? No idea! This is your kind of thing, isn't it? Can you reach the rope holding your cage? No! I can't get through the top! Can you reach the rope holding my cage? It's too far away! I'll figure something out. Better do it fast! Takava's getting away! Do you know how hard you've made it to tie my shoes? I'm sorry, but on the bright side, it makes you look tough. Really? You're not just saying that? No, I am just saying that. Oh, my hook. Sometimes I pretend it's just a really skinny hand. If I could just reach that rope. I can't reach it. She's out of reach. Morgan! Can you reach the rope holding your cage? It's too far away! I'll figure something out. Better do it fast! Takava's getting away! Your sword! Thanks. It felt like I was missing a part of me. No offense. Morgan! Can you reach the rope holding my cage? No, but I bet the Blade of Jagoda can. Whoa! with my sponge! You'll never have the sponge or my lady's love! Moose, bring me my prize! Sure thing, boss. I think Santino picked it up. What? Oh, right. Hey, they forgot the sponge. Pack him isn't and bring her about! Yes, sir. Then empty the cannons on him, me hearties! Hey, Morgan, they forgot the sponge! Coming back! Do something, Guybrush! First things first. I can't throw it all the way there. A seahorse head. Giant manatees snack on these things like crackers. Man, if somebody made little fish shaped snack crackers for people, they'd be sitting on a gold mine. for me He's too far away Calling a manatee to the rescue is the best There are many things I'd like to do with them. There are many... There's no map. Quickly! There's... 
There are many things I'd like to do with that, but shoot it out of a cannon is not one of them. Calling a manatee to the rescue is the best idea I've had in minutes, but this won't work above water. Dekava's ship, the Howler Monkey. It might not be the fastest ship in the Caribbean, but it's certainly seen the most wild. Sure thing, boss. What? Oh. Hey, they forgot the sponge. Act him isn't and bring her about. Yes, sir. Then empty the cannons on him, me hearties. Hey, Morgan, they forgot the sponge. Ah! They're coming back. Do something, Guybrush. First things first. have a ship, the Howler Monkey. It might not be the fastest ship in the Caribbean, but it's certainly seen the most vile. Stop shooting! Ready to give up La Esponja Grande? Well, no. Shoot to kill, men! Coronado, I can explain! Explain away when you're at the bottom of the ocean! What about the sponge? Unlike you, it floats! Give it here, and I'll spare your life! No can do! Where's Noogie? Noogie had a hard time readjusting to crew life. He wasn't ready to give up on democracy. So he founded his own political party and sailed away peacefully? Sure. He went to a quiet farm upstate. Done talking to you, wacko! It is for me to shoot the cannon, and for you to surrender the sponge! Ah, uh, I spent some good times in that cage. Ah, your first mate can't help you now! Your only hope is to give me La Esponja! No! First you must throw me La Esponja, then you may sail! Where do you think you're going? Hand over the sponge, or the manatees will forever mate over your corpse! Yikes! Morgan! Everything going alright up there? Just peachy. How do I free you? It won't matter if Takava sinks us to the bottom of the Caribbean. Take him out! I'll figure something out. Hurry! I can't dodge cannonballs forever! Didn't seize a screaming narwhal, sacrifice a trio of legendary sea creatures, and help a couple giant manatees find love for nothing. Calling a manatee to the rescue is the best idea I've had in minutes, but this won't work above water. There are many things I'd like to do with that, but shoot it out of a cannon is not one of them.
there's no mask like a rubber tree mask. Quickly, bring up another cannon from the hold! <laughs> you can't sink a boat made entirely of rubber trees! Oh, I should have thought of that. Throw it all the way there. Another cannon, rapidamente. Another cannon! Rapidamente! Sorry, little buddy. He's resorted to hurling detritus, sir! Hope you're still hungry, fella. Think about it, keeping that seahorse head in my pants the entire time I was underwater probably wasn't the safest course of action. Well played, Threepwood. And I didn't even have to run anyone through. Yeah, you let a manatee do your dirty work for you. Hey, look at that. Are they holding hands? Flippers, but yeah. I don't know. Wherever nature tells them to, I imagine. That's nice. Yes, it is. to go. Grossman, that guy again? Animation? I need no animation. I live! How many numbskulls does it take to make one of these anyway? Ah, Joe Pitty, the man who taught me everything I know. Everything I know about evil! <laughs> the testers, sitting in a dark room with lava lamps and they think it's heaven. Sound? I don't want to hear it. Damien, are you really a lumberjack or do you just like the plaid shirts? Marketing? <laughs> I sell myself. Jake, go talk to somebody who cares. Will it never end? Oh, the playtesters. All that pizza and no idea what kind of meat it was. Whoa! 
That's a filthy lie! This is my own voice! Kevin Bruner, he's been around forever. Go away, old man. Randy Tudor, I will end you! Oh, like all these people had something to do with it. Face of hell! <laughs> At last, I alone rule the interface! I have taken control, and none shall. Feeling right as rain now, Captain. As refreshed as my days as a cabana boy in Borneo. Captain? Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> 